Hey, mi gente, it's your girl Tori, indeed, and my very special guest, Nick Nicole. Long overdue, super excited to really, really get to talk to her. What's up, Nicole? Nick Nicole, rather. I mean, either way <laughs> works. What's going on? Hey, hey, I'm super excited to talk to you because you have a story to tell, obviously. You started off as a songwriter and developed yourself into an artist. And I'm kind of curious, and I kind of have an idea um, why and how, but... I wouldn't know if I'm right. So tell me a little bit about your roots and how you started songwriting. Okay. So I grew up in the era of like uh, <laughs> the SWV, the En Vogue, the very first Destiny's Child, okay. 702, like Escape. Like that's the era I grew up in. So when I was around, I would say 12, 11, I used to... um listen to their music on tape. Right. You know, back in the day, you can stop whenever you feel like. Right. You can so even every... record over them. No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's who you put the little tape, you put right. the little <laughs> tissue on the top and you get your own thing going. But I used to listen to the um, listen to their music on cassette. And at the, I learned how to um, write bars that way too. Oh. After every, oh. after every bar, I would press stop and I will, I will write down their lyrics. So I will learn a whole song. So you and were then, studying music at 11 years old, 10 years yeah, old, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Right. So after, after I learned, after I learned a song, I write every, every lyric of that song down. I would go behind it and re and remix it to me. Oh, cool. So that's how I learned how to song write. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's dope. So how, okay. So how long have you been songwriting um, the whole time? Or like, were you a storyteller? Like how, how long did you... I mean, do this at work. first. At first, you kind of at first you kind of like um try to find yourself. You got to find yourself. So at first, you you write music to what you think is popping at the time or what you think people want to hear, rather right. than what's true to you. So I can honestly say I start story writing, storytelling, probably I would say maybe four years ago. Oh wow. Maybe, maybe, maybe five. Okay. But be every every any time before then, I was just writing to see if this gonna fit in with what's right. going on. But then I start. I had to tap into myself and write down like emotions, and that 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 evolved oh, wow. in who I am right now. Okay, because I know you have a true heart for R and B, and I could see why because it's rooted since your childhood, right? That's how you started off all of this. Yeah, yeah. By the way, Lauren Hill is like my favorite, favorite. Does she inspire you artist. or like, yeah, she, she's the reason I started after my uncle who introduced me to music. Cause he had me in the studio at such a young age. Um, oh, after wow. him, Lauren Hill is next because it's like, when I first heard her, I remember the day and everything when I first oh. heard, um, killing me softly. I remember where I was at and everything. And when I heard that. I was like, damn. I was a little girl. I was like, damn, right. who's that? I want to be like that person. I want to write like that person. Like, I want that right. that swag that she has, like that person. So, ever since I heard her, I was just inspired. I started oh, wow. playing so with guitars even and everything else. Like you went. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I I I tried it. I tried guitar and um, keyboard and piano. I mean, it's not something I'll say I was like a master at, but oh, wow. you know, I got to go. Feel yeah, for I'm it. not a master at instruments either, but I have played several of them. So I could definitely relate to that. Um, so I think that's super cool that you, you know, you started off yeah. like songwriting or writing down lyrics. So you've been studying music. That's the study of music. And you didn't even know it, right? As a kid, we're writing down lyrics or we're trying to memorize them, rehearse them. And that's just part of the study of music. And I find that really interesting. And then for you to develop into an artist, yeah. which I know you have a strong love for R&B and its roots. So for you to be into that time frame and try to keep the originality of R&B kind of molded your sound with what's current. Okay. Yeah, definitely. Because I, I still want, like, I want to make music. Like when you think about right. old R&B, you remember it. I don't care how long it's been since you heard it. It still gives you that feeling right. that take you back to a time, you know? So it's like 
if you heard something that was like 10 years ago, you could kind of like, damn, at right. 10 yes. years ago when I heard this song, I was doing place. this. Or, you or know, a time frame. that's the type of music that I want to write. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or it might bring out emotions that you right. had then that you could still connect to. So that's my goal when I write music. I want to connect to people. Dang, so that's the heart, the emotion. Um, I don't know if there's a paper hanging above your camera. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, bandana, bandana. I don't blame. Here. I already know what it is. I don't blame him. <laughs> I already know what it is. Bag, yeah. <laughs> I'm the he same way. That's hilarious. Bag. But you never know. <laughs> I agree with him. Shout out to bandana. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. I know you mentioned uh, you two inspirations. Um, how would you describe your sound, your music? I know I kind of mentioned it a little bit of then and then modern, but how do you describe it? Um, I would, I would, I would say a little like I got a little bit of everything Ooh. in it. It's, it's a little a neo, neo soul. It's yeah. a, it's a little soul. Yeah, it's a little. Sometimes I might be a little <laughs> raunchy on the rap. Right, right. Thing. Like the flow might change. It depends on the song. But as deep down, yeah, rooted, I feel the power I behind it. Like it's very powerful. Anything. Like you, you're very, you really stand out on that. And we'll play your yeah. song. I know we have music to play for you. Uh, I just kind of wanted to pick your brain on how, what you think you like, or how would you describe your sound? Um, and how about I see you're in the studio. Yeah. All right. So, what is the procedure for you to yeah, yeah. to write music, to record your music, like? Do you have to put some incense on, dim down the lights, or what? What is it? What's your process? I def the the room definitely has to be dark, even when I'm in the studio when I record, mm -hmm. I want it as dark as possible. So the room has to be dark because it just brings on to me. It brings out emotions. You can actually like if you in there, if you crying or whatever right. it is that a lot of people do that in the dark. You know, they they shed their emotions. Whatever. Sometimes what does it start to, to light? Sometimes before they go to bed. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, like, to me, that just right. brings out your heart. To me, that's how I like to record. Um, definitely, I, I would say right. like, I'm not really into the candle thing, but I did say when I, when because I am going to have, like, I got a, a setup at home, but I want, like, a room just dedicated to okay. music. I do want candles around. I do want the light in it be right. So, yeah, it has to be. Oh, that's cool. The mood has to be right. It has to be dark. Even when I'm here, if I come okay. in the daytime, I try to book all my Everybody has their, their way of setting up, their yeah. own feng shui <laughs> yeah. and how things flow for them. So I always find it really interesting. Yeah. And when I'm home, I got I to gotta have like a, when I'm home, literally my setup is so chill. I record only at nighttime. Or only time I record right. in a day if I have like if something pop in my head and I want to lay it down real quick, real quick. But my recording recording is at night and I have to have like <laughs> my hot tea with honey. I know that's it's like you. cliche <laughs> or whatever, but for a singer, yeah, right. for for a singer, it's like so important because it's just like you in the comfort of your own home, so right. you can just like you know, I know you you consider vibe, yourself a you know? singer, but I mean, are you? Do you also do a little bit of rapping, or like you, I feel like you're really diverse, or you have diversity in you, um, or you're versatile? Because I know nah. you mentioned you write bars, <laughs> but which could be sung What's as the... well. Um, I mean, I don't, I don't think I wouldn't say I'm I'm real um good in that area. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm not gonna say I didn't try, <laughs> but for myself, I was like, yeah, I don't think this is. <laughs> I don't think this gonna do it. <laughs> that's okay. Hey, but it's I was, part of I was the journey. It's part of what started, you know. Like, yeah, what kind of just... made you figure out what you what is your sound and what you do prefer and what's your sound. Um, now I do have some. I do have this one flow that I do do on um certain tracks. It's not rapping, okay. but it's more of like talking. Okay. With a little <laughs> sass in it, sass at the same time. So that's one of my one of my little little tricks. But other than that, okay. just like spitting bars. <laughs> nah. Um, let's play Queen, <laughs> and then we can tell me a little bit about Queen, the background okay. of it, the meaning behind it. I'll play it. You want me to you I want me to play it or you gonna play it? Hold on one okay. second. 
Good. Huh. All bad. Okay. <laughs> I'm so I'm no discrimination. No separation. I just like what I like I like what I like If you ain't gon' do it, who gon' celebrate us? All this melanin culture come in different flavors Be there, protect us when we facing vultures And we facing hate Would you ride for me? so so full so deep and powerful wow tell me tell me about it tell me the background Thank behind you. that and what inspired it what triggered it i mean well you know today it's like so much going right. on it's just like it's heartbreaking um it's like uh right. in your face almost every day but I also see um, the disrespect right. that a lot of women receive too at this time. A lot of things have came to light that you'd be like, damn, like, like why? You know, why, like, to me, I think, well, period. Women are, are the most powerful women, powerful people. You know, like we, we have a voice, um, but we, we are the right. most disrespected, especially black women. It's like, um, Sometimes I feel like we just get treated like whatever whatever we give you is what you what you right. going, what you going what you, what you deserve or what we going like you just take it you know so it's kind of like when you when I'm like everybody on Instagram right now so when you see stuff on Instagram and it's direct it's direct into black women it's the it's directed to any woman it's hurtful but when it's directed to black women especially by our kings 
it's kind of like like praise us too like you know we 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 do so much for you guys especially wow. like carrying your kids like you know how much you know how much it takes to carry a, a child you know to birth a child that 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 takes a toll on you mentally physically emotionally and it's like the least you can do is hold me like to the highest and we don't get that a lot so that was just like and then on top of that i saw like this crazy post on instagram that wow. damn near like i was almost in tears this guy has smacked a woman with a skateboard in her face and knocked her out i believe it was in new york and all the guys was out there laughing and taping it and i was like damn like he he literally knocked her out that's crazy and right after that clip it was another slide on the same on the same um the same post these guys had threw a girl a woman in a black woman what? again into the trash wow through her in I've the seen trash, a lot of bad like videos, a dumpster but that and she was these two videos broke my heart and it was like on the same post so you see it one after another and when i saw her in the trash can well in the dumpster they was like bending over her taping her and the looks of her eyes just screamed help wow and that i was just like <laughs> as being black men that's taping this right now you should be ashamed of yourself you shouldn't allow you shouldn't allow no nobody feel it's okay to put another one to put a woman a black woman in a dumpster and then you saying she crying right. for help like like she want to get out and you guys like laughing and everything that was just so heartbreaking wow. so that night i wrote queen i i definitely feel the message behind it yeah. for sure for sure and i feel like it could make a difference yeah if that's what you're striving for i mean yeah it could make a difference i just want to i just want to get i just want to get people attention i want to get women attention too because at the end of the day um sometimes we would we with people that don't hold right. us to the highest standards so you got to start you got to change the conversation with the man you lay down with every night or who you call your your man or your mate like would you protect me would you allow anybody vultures anybody would you allow them to do me harm that's so that's real that's life. a new conversation that's you know, you're committing to be with somebody. So why be with someone who won't stand with you and side by side? And, and why would you be with, those are like legitimate real life questions. Would you? Yeah, that, but those are questions that we don't ask. And those are, and those are questions that should now, it should be like when we sit down and had that first date, let's dig a little deeper. Right then you looking fly tonight or you cute you know let's dig a little deeper because i don't want to waste my time with nobody that's not going to treat me like a like a queen right because not queen everybody's intentions like are like that and not a lot of people have great intentions or good intentions yeah for so for someone to go in there and know like you know you're going on this date you know you already expect whoever you're going to be with is going to be treated like a king so you, you could you should expect the same back yeah the same whatever energy you put into that but yeah. if people aren't you, you people are like that they're too blind um to looking good or to finding you know a visual relationship to make it look like you are happy and rich and all that and there's other and he talking and he out yeah, here talking hella me, shit about you <laughs> i've seen it i've dealt it <laughs> he he knocking your head he knocking your head and like like right. nah, sis, don't 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 allow that to happen. Like it be toxic. Like I, like to be honest, I just I ain't get out of like nothing toxic as far as like um, physical or anything like that. It was it was just more as like you need more, and that's another thing too. You might need more from a person. You know, you might you might you might want to be like, okay, this is good for now, right. but are we going to be good five years from now? You know, would you treat me? If I see signs now that right. I, I don't Absolutely. like, what's the point of going with further? That. Some people got to go you through know? a few so, things to learn it yeah. or learn the hard way. And some people won't ever get it. But I believe, you know, two people should build mm -hmm. their foundation together and, and up. Because you're not just going to lay a foundation and be happy for 20 years. Yeah. You got to build, you got to lay down your foundation and build, build. Once you got that building going, lay another foundation and keep building. It's not 
Right. It's not only about like build on another one, right? <laughs> or just now. It's a foundation. It's an investment. Yeah. And it, it has nothing to do with, you know, money or being rich. Being rich mentally, emotionally is the best thing ever. You know, a stable um relationship, yeah. a partnership, you know, whatever it is that you want to categorize. It's like people need to know, like, listen, lay your foundation, treat him like a king, but don't don't settle for yeah. anything less on the return. You know, I definitely, oh, wow. Definitely. It got real deep. Um, definitely that song <laughs> yeah. has a message behind it and it could make a difference. And it has a lot of things input into it. Like today, what's going on, the reality of today. You know, the message really go, it's a few different messages all within that one song, right? That's crazy. Yeah, yeah, I because I, I want it to be for everybody. I don't want it to just be from a woman asking a man, um, "Am I your queen?" Both you know, ways. I wanted to be. I wanted to be for 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 the woman. Yeah, so it's not like, but as a woman, Correct. I want to know these. So, things what are too, some of your you know? goals? Like, do you want your music yeah. to be the difference or make the difference, or um? I don't know. What are some of your ultimate goals? I feel like this question could be answered so many different ways. Uh, but I just, I'm curious to know. Yeah. Of course, you always want to be on top of anything that you do. You don't do something just to just to uh, stay at the same same level. So, of course, you want to be amongst the people that's being talked about. Of course, you want to. Of course, I want to be um, amongst the people that's saying, "Damn, she writes some some bomb ass songs," or you know, I can feel emotion. Like I want to be in that. In that category, when it says, when they say, I want to listen to some, something that, that's going to make me feel some type of way, I want people to be like, let me just put on some Nick Nicole. I know shit put me in the mood, you know? So, of course, you, like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to go as far <laughs> as God would allow okay. me. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I need, I need houses on the absolutely. hills and bomb Oh, absolutely. Cars you can definitely so. reward yourself for sure. <laughs> what are you currently working on right now? I yeah. see you're in a studio. Um, um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I try to stay working, actually. Um, I just been, I've been putting a lot of work into Queen for maybe like, <laughs> I'm real critical of myself. Right. So, it, so Queen, Queen has Queen turned, for a while it's now. not only a song, <laughs> Because I hear some. No, it, it hasn't turned into a project. I haven't, I, I'm just, I just like to be here and just work. So I, as far as like um a collective mm -hmm. body of work, I don't think I'm going to do that yet. Because right now I feel as though I'm still building. So when I when I do drop a collective of work, I wanted to drop I want it to drop on the right ears of the people. I don't want it to just be deaf music. So right now I'm not just like putting out singles after singles right. or vibes after vibes. So okay. that's what I was that's what I'm working on right now. So I just been giving Queen a little a little time to to breathe, but as you, I don't think I don't think we went live when I was. If you want to play else, a little snippet, by yeah, all I'm means, go ahead. If you have something an exclusive, you want to snippet, you could do that. Feel free, take over. <laughs> <laughs> I know uh, when we first got on a call, you were playing something in the table. background. Um, maybe the uh, the yeah, the hook. The hook. Ooh, what was that snippet? So that was a hook to something you're working on? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. It's called, I, I mean, some, I ain't even going to tell you what it's called. But yeah, I'm, I know it happened. Yeah, I'll be so changing day, the name song crazy. Might be named one title and then you go through something, you add a verse and it's just like, no, this yeah. is the title. So I de definitely respect that. Um, mm -hmm. Loving the hook, loving the whole production. Mm -hmm. I feel like you work very well 
with whoever you you're producing with or and whoever's engineering with you or along your sides like they understand your sound and it goes very well yeah see i work with i, yeah, I like i said cool. before i kind of work with everybody here so they already know like they we already learned each other so it's, it's like they know what they to know do. what to <laughs> press they know when to tell me this yeah they they know to tell okay. me like nah nick see, that's, that's not it good. over because I don't like recording with people that just let me do what I want to do. Correct. And it the takes a lot. Like I time, say it all the right. time. Who You got to know who's criticizing you. Now, you've been working with this team for such a long time. They know. Like, nah, that's not your best. Do it again. And that's the kind of team you should yeah. be linked up with. You know, uh, you don't want to just take two takes and, oh, yeah, Nick does a great job. She does it in two takes. No, I want to be the best me, you know? So it's good to have people like that, and definitely, I'm happy for you. Definitely. Um, how important is it to you to have Thank you. those kind of people around you? Um, as far as studio, as far as right. people that I work with in the studio, is is really important. Like me personally, I like to build a relationship like i'm a i'm a so far no i'm kidding of course you're super so cool it's not <laughs> yeah right, so right. it's not hard it's not hard to get along with me so when i give you directions you know you take it because you know i I'm, I'm not that type of artist that's like i won't say stuck i get up, you but be thinking like, like <laughs> you know what i mean i'm level-headed so when i say when i when i want something and vice versa, it's more it's more of like a um right. rebuilding a, a a business relationship, like you know. So that is really important. And everybody that I worked with, like we recorded together more than here. We I know we record, recorded together at least um, more than once. My main engineer, he's he um he took a little break, so that gives me time to work with other people too. But um, they definitely know my sound, and they know what to do so um being here and and them telling me uh this not it is important because i don't want to work with nobody that's just gonna right. be pressing buttons all day and just and i'm I'll not go with like negative energies or like i roll in like yeah i gotta do another take then let's do another take I, I... <laughs> no i'm down for it i'll be the, you know what i'm so critical that's i'll be the though. one that'd be like no let's do it over and they'd be like, no, 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 that, that take was good. I feel I'm like, like you're being really realistic. Critical. And it's just like, no, that's not my best sound. It's not. No, I know. I know. I know the best me and the better me. And that wasn't all. I didn't give them yeah. all. Like, you know best, right? Yeah, I might visit a song. Like, I, I might visit one song when I come here I, on three different occasions. Because every time I take it home. No worries. Excuse me. Every time I take it home, I hear something that I don't <laughs> like. Or oh, I might have right. a harmony that I didn't put in, so like I'm always changed. So it takes. That's why it takes me so long to and release where music. Where can they find your music? Right. I know you're on YouTube. Definitely, I'm on YouTube. I'm, I'm on every iTunes, platforms. Apple, uh, Title. Yeah, all. I mean, we've platforms. been thrown every on, Instagram. All, just honestly. look me up. But is there any other websites you want us to promote or mention or? Um, is Instagram the the best place for someone to contact you or kind of check you out as an artist? Um, I'm dibble on other um other sites and stuff like that, but I don't. I just I don't know. Yeah. Instagram just like dragged me in, but I'm like on okay. um, I'm on Loom, but I no, really don't be up there like I'm supposed else. to be up there. Nah, you, you could just you could do it here. Okay, I'm actually so we'll working be on, on the website lookout for that. Anyway, this is to keep somebody, both of us so. accountable, not only yourself as an artist, yeah. but me as what I'm doing in the platform I'm providing. As I keep growing and like molding myself, and of course I'm a perfectionist, so every upgrade I'm gonna have to keep myself accountable, and you as an artist keep yourself accountable. So you coming onto the show, it's like all right, we're keeping each other um, on point, right? So obviously you, you yeah. yeah. Because right, we supposed to have been did this a long time, time ago. So right now is the best time, right? So then probably your next project, your next yep. song, whatever you want to promote, or even just to drop in and say what's up, that, hey, look, I'm still working. Like, we're going to keep bringing you on. It just works that way. And it's cool. Like, okay. we keep That's each other accountable. 
And I want to, I want to, I want to see, I want to see. Right. It, it works up. both ways. Every Trust me, it on. does. You but know what's saying? next for you? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be like, I want to be like, damn, you right? look good today. Uh, tell me what's next for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, just working on new music. Like, I, to be honest with you, I had a lineup of um, joints that I was going to drop. And then when I write something different, that just fucked my whole lineup again. So I had to put things back in order. So this song I, that, I just let, let you hear. <laughs> um, yeah, I... That wasn't what I was supposed to put out, but as of yesterday, I think I, I was like, I think I'm gonna put, drop this one next. But it's, I have something else too, so I don't know. You know, I just I just like to work. That's my thing. Like I'm like I'm um a studio rat. Like I love being in the studio. I love creating. So yeah, keep us I'll anyway. With being said, I'll be next. following I you on Instagram post. anyway. <laughs> Or whatnot, but yeah, I just yeah. I just wanted to know. Like, obviously, you kind of told us a little bit about the roots, about you being someone so young and already studying music, and I call it the study of music, and that's what really it breaks down to, uh, up to where what you're currently doing, and then, and then yeah. now you're expressing what's next. And obviously, you played snippets for us, a snippet for us, to kind of get a feel. But we see you working. I know you're working, so that's dope. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> This all, this all, like I love this. That's cool. Like this is like everything to me. I know. Yeah, without I music, I'd probably that, be what miserable. Would I have done without music, <laughs> I love music. Everything revolves about, around music. Whether you're watching a movie, there's a soundtrack. You're playing a video game, there's music in the video game. You mm -hmm. know, it's music is really everywhere. You're in an elevator, there's elevator music, right? You're yeah. shopping around. What do they do? Play music in the background. Mm -hmm. Music is literally everywhere. So I want to be the one that provide that good music. You know what I mean? So so when you hear it, you'll be like, damn, who's that? Right. Or right, right. when you hear it, you'll be like, damn, that's I know. That's cool. Her. Yeah. That's, that's, good, a, that's, that's some good, good music, good, you know? Um, yeah. Like a good goal. You can speak that into existence for sure. I'm like, wait, I spoke to Nick Nicole. I know her. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. My whole thing, what I really I like one of my one of my things on the list that I want to do, I want to be in um I want to get music. I want to be um in film. Like I want my music right. to be in in like t on TV behind like a bomb ass movie or um Insecure. I would oh, love to wow. have my shit played on Insecure. Like that's one of my See, my things on the list. Like <laughs> I said, I was gonna reach out to her. <laughs> you should try. <laughs> I said I was gonna. I said I was gonna reach out to her because she like if you ever hear the soundtrack of Insecure. I swear you could just add that shit to your playlist. It is all right, good music. Right, so right. like why I wouldn't want to be a part of that bomb ass sound. Yeah, her soundtracks be dope. And it sounds like Dang. she handpicked her music herself. That's dope. That's super yeah, that would that's so yeah. like something you would want to be a part of. Especially if you get that vibe where like I felt like she personally chose these this all these songs and yeah. That's super mm -hmm. cool. Sorry. You should try. That's you never I know. Reach out to her. You never never <laughs> You know, sometimes you start you start in some people's DM that's like important. They don't even pay you no attention. But I say, you know, maybe sure, I, I can would shoot my shot. And I see. always shoot my shot. The worst thing they could do is not read the message, yeah. not see it, or just say no. But even that wouldn't discourage me. Nah, right? Because <laughs> eventually you're gonna hear me again, and you're like, <laughs> "Damn, I should have put her on right. that, but this song. This song, cool. Right? Too, what so are some of your? I feel like you have a lot of, a, like a lot of wisdom, you know, to you. So, what what could you say are some of your areas of growth, or even personally, not even in your music, like just growth in general? Well, I can definitely say um, this quarantine had has definitely uh made me dig deep a little more than what I would normally do. Cause you know, before this everybody was just running around, running around. But I got time to like sit down and think about things and put things in perspective or get my priorities straight. Uh I don't know. I'm just I'm just I don't know. Like and the funny thing is a lot of people talk to me about their problems too. Like I know you know what to say. I don't know. It's because we get a good vibe. It's like, I, I feel like we're know. hanging out. We're just chilling, watching watching TV, 
hanging out in the studio or on the couch. Like, I just feel like we're yeah. just vibing. So, I mean, you're very easy to talk to. And um, yeah. I don't know. I feel like you're so down to earth and such a, such a people person. Like, I'm the most social, antisocial person out there. You know, I could vibe and talk to anybody. But then again, I stay to myself, you know? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of okay. me, too, because I got to read you first. You know, I'm, I'm not I the type of person that just go in the room yes. and start socializing <laughs> with everybody. That's not me. Yeah. I got to sit back and say, okay, like, are you cool? You cool? But I'm I'm not um, I'm not anti-social, but I don't throw myself on people either. You know, I don't be, right. I don't be all out. Like, I'm not the loudest one in the room. Oh, unless, okay. unless I'm with my <laughs> Shout cousins. Shout out to your cousins, because I different. know. I yeah, be yeah. nowhere. <laughs> what? Yeah, yeah. When I'm with them, this is like when when they when I'm not around and it's just like they have a gathering. They be like, damn, you went you went all that because you weren't in there. Yeah, I know I'm you funny. have a very talented family. Yeah. Um, I think it's dope. Creators and um, you yourself, singer, songwriter. Um, I mean, last question for you. I guess we'll talk yeah. a little bit about the R and B, and I kind of wanted to know, um, how are you feeling about R and B, like? currently and where it's going uh or where do you feel like it's going um r&b is it's cool right now because <laughs> i'm not in it so it's cool you know <laughs> it's cool but i think i do think um it's a lot of like rappy singy it's not too much um music right. that's, that make you feel anymore and you got you got a few of them out there here and there. It is a few, but it's not how it was years ago, when you could just right, listen to right. everybody and all this shit fire. It's not it's not like that right now. But I'm not gonna ever like. Oh no, absolutely. Sh- try to shit on somebody's art if that's if that's if that's what type of if that's what you think is R and B, then that's R and B. My perspective R and B is just like digging down deep and reaching your soul or talking some truth. Or connecting with somebody, I'm not okay. too much of like that rappy singy type, and that's what's that's what's going on right now. And it's a lot of rappy singy. You got a few that's um belting out notes or right. putting you in that good vibe. You got a few. You can but definitely. I want to add to that. that that's sure. what I want to do to keep that R and B full R and B vibe, right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I mean, why not add me to it? You know, like. Let me like I I legit call myself the Bob creator. Like let me right. just add let me just add to the Bob. Like can't go no. wrong. We can't go wrong. Nah. And I'm in a lane by myself. Right. So how do you I feel like, like how nobody. do you feel that how do you feel like you keep your uniqueness? You to be honest with you, to be one hundred percent honest with you, I don't listen to a lot. I don't listen to a lot of people. My playlist is like you. You won't even you look if you look at my playlist. You won't even think I'm an artist. <laughs> my playlist is so limited because I don't. I, I've been there before when I listen to everybody and it starts taking me away from myself because that shit right. hot right now. So I'm trying to get in the pocket rather than being myself. So I don't listen. To, I don't really listen to a lot of people right now. I'm really on uh, Victor. Uh, this a Vic, okay. Victoria Monet. I think that's the name. She's really dope. So I've been playing her like for the last. So you're very three selective weeks. of what you uh, what you let influence your music, and that's good. That's good. That's a good way to stay mm-hmm. original yeah. and unique in your own lane. So that's really dope. That's really cool. Yeah. I don't listen to a lot of people. My playlist is just like really short and sweet. I was so dope. It was so dope this um here Scissor though, the other day. Well, yesterday Scissor had dropped like. A video. Oh, that's cool. Like, See, that's true I entertainment. When you're vibing, really think... enjoying it, that's true ent- entertainment. Yeah. Because to me, I think she in the she in the, I think she herself. That's that's right. what that's what I that's what I'm attracted to. You don't sound like nobody else. How, your, your sound is so unique. It's different, and you yourself. <laughs> so when I saw that, I was yeah, like, oh, and you can relate that. to that because you yourself, right? <laughs> you are you. Yeah, I'm definitely myself. Yeah, I, I don't. I did that before. I ain't. I ain't trying to go back there. It's too hard. It's too hard trying to trying to right. fit into a box and just be your it's own. Better, it's, it's easy just to be to yourself. To fit in than to just fucking stand out. Yeah, oh, and when see, you, you yourself, go. you stand out. So 
Yeah. Well, thank you so much for your time. It was Definitely. dope. It was a vibe for sure. Feel free to drop anything you want to say, any Definitely. mentions, any plugins. Go right ahead. Well, I definitely want everybody to go um, run up those streams or YouTube and listen to Queen. Like, <laughs> play it for your play it for your man. Play it for everybody. Play it for your grandfather. <laughs> play, yeah, play it for everybody. Add it to your playlist for you right. to catch these vibes whenever you need them. So, yeah, just, you know, stay connected to me and, like, ride along this journey. And see how I, uh, <laughs> that's how dope I blow for up sure. Everybody, tune in. <laughs> Nick Nicole, it's your girl Tori, indeed. And we're out.